Oh. Hello there. So if this is your first time watching my videos, just know that this is not my usual voice. I'm actually quite sick right now. My nose is completely blocked. It actually, I, I can barely breathe right now. So I'm breathing through my mouth. I'm like, <sighs> while trying to talk. But I'm gonna film this anyway because some people have been telling me they like my slightly nasally, deeper, huskier voice. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna film this video because I thought about this roughly five minutes ago that I wanted to film a video called Brunching with Sherry where I pick a topic and I just chat with you guys as if you're sitting on the other side of the table and it gives me an excuse to one, order a lot of food and two, wear this bougie robe at the hotel. So today I am doing something very fun. I will be doing the Myers-Briggs personality test and if you're not sure what it is it's basically a self-assessment you get to answer a bunch of different questions it will tell you which of the 16 personalities most matches you so I took it to Instagram to ask you guys what personality you think I am there's actually a good mix of responses here a lot of you guys actually got it kind of similar so in the past when I did it I was always consistently but I read somewhere that if you haven't taken it in a while, your personality may have changed a little bit. So I'm interested to see if any of this, <coughs> gosh, has changed. Oh, I forgot to add milk. Um, so I pulled out the personality test on my phone. All right, let's get started. So you find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. I don't think this is true. Disagree? You often get so lost in thoughts that you ignore or forget your surroundings. This is not true. Next one is, you try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a messy inbox. Oh my goodness, this is very true. I am very, um, I'm very type A personality. I like things to be organized. You feel superior to other people. I feel terrible for thinking this way, but I like to say I agree because part of I don't know, part, part of my attitude towards a lot of things is even if I don't actually feel superior to other people, I need to make myself feel that way so that I carry myself confidently in front of people. You know, it's the whole fake it till you make it mentality. Winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets upset. Hmm. Do I care about if people get upset? I feel terrible. I'm I feel like you guys are gonna learn a lot of new things about me. So if I think that I'm right or what I'm saying is the most efficient way to do something, I will be very insistent on it and obviously people who disagree will be upset. But sometimes if, if I think I'm right, I gotta stand by it. So. <laughs> but I didn't put it all the way because I'm not gonna make someone cry. You often feel as though you have to justify yourself to other people. Disagree? Your home and work environment are quite tidy. Yes. You do not mind being at the center of attention. I agree. You consider yourself more practical than creative. I agree for the most part. People can rarely upset you. Um, disagree. People do upset me. It's just I won't necessarily make a big deal out of it. Your travel plans are usually well thought out. Yes. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. Um, I don't want to eat. I want... This is carrot juice, by the way. It is so good. It's like liquid carrot. Anyway, sorry, what was the question? I disagree. I think I can generally empathize pretty well. I agree with this so much. Every discussion needs to have people that are constructive and objective. You can't, you can't let your feelings get in the way of things. You're often envious of others. To be honest, yes, but it's not necessarily a, um, oh my gosh, I wish I had what they have. It was more like a, wow, that's really cool that she has that. I, I do envy it but it makes me want to work even harder to get to that point. You rarely get carried away by fantasies and ideas. 100% agree. I'm not the type to daydream or fantasize about things. I like to just like think about it, action, go. You often find yourself lost in thought when you're walking in nature, disagree. I love to keep an eye out on my surroundings in case there are any kidnappers. If someone does not respond to your email quickly, you start worrying about if you said something wrong. 100% agree. <laughs> I've gotten better at it, but back then, it was just if, if I am sending, especially an email where I am maybe criticizing something or I'm giving my opinion, send it, I'm always checking my inbox to see if they replied. And if they don't reply, I'm gonna think, oh my gosh, I pissed them off. But now I realize people have a life 
and they're not like me and they're not always checking their inbox. <laughs> when you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on real world and its events. Um, I don't dream, so I'm just gonna put the middle one. I'm actually, I think I'm very lucky that I don't dream unless I'm having a fever of some sort. I generally, I pass out as soon as my pillow hits, uh, as soon as my head hits the pillow. And then by the time I wake up, it's just, it's just blank. You enjoy going to social events that involve dressing up or role play activities. Yes, I love any excuse for me to wear a nice dress, just love dressing up. You often spend time exploring unrealistic and practical yet intriguing ideas. Disagree. If it's impractical, I'm not spending time on it. Hmm. You are a relatively reserved and quiet person. Disagree. I never shut up. A lot of people who know me in real life know that. If your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Completely disagree. And I think sometimes I feel like a bad friend because I, when I approach things, problems in my own life, I just think about, you can be upset, but be upset for five minutes, get over it, and then think of a solution. <laughs> but not everyone wants to hear that when they're sad and sobbing, so you really feel insecure. I um, generally agree with that. There are days where I feel insecure, for sure. I mean, I'm human. <laughs> Um, agree, I wouldn't consider myself a dreamer. I have dreams, but I like to consider myself a go-getter. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh my god. Mm -hmm. I've always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things. Nope. I do, I do take initiative. All right, so my personality, what do you know? My personality type is executive, ESTJ. This has been the same thing that I've been getting since day one. Executives don't work alone and they expect the reliability and work ethic to be reciprocated, so yes. The main challenge for executives is to recognize that not everyone follows the same path or contributes the same way. This is this is very true because I will listen to other people, but I'm already biased to begin with because it's engraved in my brain that's I thought of the most efficient way to do something. So I kind of half reject someone's idea. So as I'm listening to it, I'm already like, nah, 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 in the back of my mind. But now I, I've, I've definitely got a lot better, but it was sometimes you just gotta just not be so confident in only yourself, but also, also what others have to say. Anyway, so I hope me doing this quiz lets you guys understand me a little bit more and I would love to know what your personality types are and if you think it's accurate. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye.